So like, good day, eh? Today's topic is the Meshify 2XL. So I was using a Corsair uh, 760T, eh? And uh, it was a great case, but it's seen its day. So like, this case is really good. It's got some great features inside. And I packed it up full of RGB, eh? Oh, ho, ho, RGB. It's like, go get a beer, eh? Because it's so awesome, eh? So, like, I was doing some RGB and having a few tokes because, like, I'm in the Great White North and we can do that now, eh? So I was doing that and, and I had this idea that, hey, maybe I should load this up with more RGB because the more I want, the more I get. And the more I get, the more I want. <laughs> so, I know, you're thinking, ah, what a hoser, eh? What kind of guy wants all this RGB? Wow, a guy with nothing better to do. That's who wants all the RGB. It looks pretty cool in there. I got a few more things to fix up here and there, but it's getting pretty close to done, eh? So, like, this is pretty cool. A couple of problems with this case, though, eh? See those two SSD covers there? Well, that is actually a front plate, eh? It comes out so that you can set it into storage mode, eh? So once you set it into storage mode, you can add like 18 hard drives or something. But that's not what I'm doing, eh? Because that's like just way too many hard drives, eh? So what I did was I just took my old SSD covers and I stuck them on that plate. But if you take that plate off, there's screws there to mount SSDs on the other side of the board the other side of the motherboard tray so you can't access those screws because you can't take that plastic plate off and you can't take that plastic plate off unless you take the fans out and if you have a 360 rad up front you're going to have the same problem eh? so like a bunch of hose heads they didn't make it easy to get at those screws so what i did was i did put a, a solid state drive in that location on the other side of the motherboard tray but i used uh, double-sided gel tape to get it to stay there. I'm not buggering, buggering around with those screws, eh? It's just a waste of time, eh? So, the other problem in a, with this case, it's a sort of a minor problem, eh? But there's no hard drive light, eh? So, like, if you're wondering what your hard drive's doing, too bad, because you're not going to let, like, figure it out, eh? Because, like, the case will be sitting there, and you're wondering what's going on, and you can't figure it out because there's no hard drive light. Should you turn it off? Should you turn it on? Is it on or is it off? Well, luckily, it does have a power light. See that little white light there? That's the power light. So at least there's that. And you could always plug yourself in a HD LED to the main board and just leave it sitting down there because you can see it right through the window. Eh? So this set setup is pretty much uh, a Gen 10 build. It's an Intel uh, i7 uh, 10700K overclocked to uh, 5.1 gigahertz. Lots of RGB in there, eh? The uh, this extensions for the power cable you see there and the extensions for the GPU are both Chinese extensions. Uh, you can get them off of Amazon, eh? And then like the GPU support that I got down there, you get that off of Etsy.com. Do a search on there, and when you find the guy, you just email him, and you send him the picture you want, and he'll make it work, eh? And then the same with the SSD covers there, eh? He'll make those work for you, too. You just give him the picture you want. You could put some hosers on there, or your favorite beer, or maybe your favorite hockey team, eh? That would work out pretty good. So the fans on there, the fans are Antec fans. They look pretty good. Those are 120 millimeters, those four. They come in a kit of five, and they're only like $89 Canadian, eh? That's like, for us in the Great White North, that's a great price, eh? And then in the front here, we got the same fans, but they're 140 millimeters. Those are real expensive, eh? Big ripoff for those profiteers trying to make money off COVID, eh? I had to order those in from Israel last year, because that was the cheapest place I could find them, eh? Every place else wanted like another $75, what a rip-off, eh? Stupid hosers. Gee, I tells you, no good for nothing, those hosers. Everything's working real good in this case. We got our 32 gigabytes Corsair RAM there. We got our GeForce RTX 3070 Vision uh, video card there. Works great. I love it, eh? Just beauty, eh? 
and then we got all our RGB and that's all you need. And uh, we ended up having to use an external drive case for my Blu-ray drive, but that's okay, eh? Because, you know, enough is enough. Eh? It's time to get rid of those optical drive bays. Eh? So, that's been our topic for today. I hope you like the case and how it looks. So, maybe we'll see you again next time. So, good day, eh? Good day.